On this week's episode of Short and Sweet, I'm talking five ways to better pack your vehicle, or you could say things to think about when packing for your next road trip. As always, if you like the series, make sure you hit subscribe and that notification bell so you don't miss anything else. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, make sure you drop them in the comments below so we can help you out. The number one thing to think about is your overall weight and weight distribution. The lighter your vehicle is when you head off on a trip, the less fuel you're gonna use. So unpack anything you don't need. For all the essentials you do need, you need to think about where and how you're gonna pack them. Ideally, you wanna balance your vehicle front to back as best as you can, and you wanna keep heavier items lower. If you've got a back seat, a good place to store heavy items is on the footwell. The rear footwell is generally fairly close to the center of the vehicle and just about the lowest point in the cabin. It makes sense anyway. Bulky and heavy items should be lower in your vehicle, then you can throw things like clothes bags or food on top. And this is where a roof rack comes in. If you've got bulky but lightweight items, they're probably not gonna fit that well in your vehicle. And even if they do, they run the risk of getting damaged by any heavier items that have to sit on top of them. So if you're planning on bringing push bikes, surfboards, or a kayak on your next trip, definitely think about a roof rack. These days, there are so many options, from crossbars right up to full platforms. And there are plenty of mounts that make tying down all your gear super easy. And speaking of easy tie downs, forget the ropes and get a couple of proper ratchet straps. They're so quick and easy to use and you know that your belongings are secure. If you're going on a serious road trip or you just wanna spend less time searching for your things and more time enjoying them, then a rear storage setup makes a lot of sense. You can start with something as easy as a plastic tub and work all the way up to a high quality drawer system. There are so many options depending on your vehicle, but whether you get a single drawer, stack two drawers, or get two horizontal drawers, it'll be easier than ever to track down whatever you need. You can even take it another step by separating the inside of your drawers. A couple of homemade dividers work wonders, or for a more elegant solution, use a couple of clear top bags. They keep your gear together and you can see what's in each one at a glance. Too easy. Some drawers feature built-in fridge slides too. Or you can add a separate fridge slide which gives you easy access to your food storage. Speaking of fridges and internal storage, there are now plenty of ways to make the most of your vehicle's interior as well. In some models, you can replace your center console with a center console fridge. Now you've got easy access to food and drinks while you're on the move. No more stopping at the servo for a bottle of water or a sandwich. After all, you've still got your glove box for things like a jump starter or basic tools. Another great way to stay organized is by adding some handy car seat organizers. These are a super useful bit of gear that means your essentials stay where you need them. So whether it's bug spray and sunscreen, tools or toys for the kids, you won't lose them and they're ready to go when you need them. And the final tip is to keep an eye on your tire pressures. Manufacturers often suggest a range of pressures depending on whether you're running around empty or you're fully loaded. Packing your own 12 volt air compressor and tire deflator means you can monitor pressures and you never have to stop at a servo or try and find one when you're on the open road. There you go, five things to think about to ensure that you're packing properly on your next road trip. Now, if you like this video and you're new to full driving, camping or road tripping, make sure you check out the rest of the series and check out the rest of the channel for much more in-depth information too. As always, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell so you don't miss anything else that we're doing.